Hello everyone, it's Lee from Tilly Journals and welcome back to my channel. I'm here with my another of my bonus videos and this time I have this um, little PV Weeks kit from Josephine Bow Designs in hollow foil. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, and I am going to be doing a 10 minute challenge. I have this washi from Simply Gilded as well. Let's find a week that I haven't already used. Here we go. Um, so I'm going to be doing a 10 minute challenge but before I start the 10 minute challenge and I do realise this is slightly 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 cheating but it's not at all <laughs> at the same time I just want to show you a trick you can do to add a sidebar in just using a ombre heart checkbox or something from another kit. So the idea here is you're going to create a little foldy foldy here so you can have your sidebar um, under a full box. So you take your um, full box, so yeah, you take your full box overlay, your full box, sorry, turn this upside down and just roughly trying to do it straight, but it doesn't really matter. Pop it on to the box and then line that up with the edge of the box that where it's going to go there and then you want to check put on your box that's on the other side so because it's a little sidebar i'm going to use the monday through sunday tracker and i'm actually going to turn this so this page is on its own so i'm against the edge and you just want to line up the box with the full box there like that and then fold it over then you have a little folding out bit and then you need to just cover up this bit as well so for me what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a habit tracker if we can do it up yep I'm going to pop that in there and then I also want to use this three heart check box and then I just need to decide whether there's room for more than one header or whether that's it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a to-do title at the top or in fact no let's not use the to-do let's use the this week because I'm definitely not going to use the this week anywhere else use the this week header at the top and I'm going to use one of the little strips of washi in the middle because obviously the only downside of this is you do have to use like a cover up pretty much the whole thing and do a no spike or white space look unless you use like a lighter coloured um box there and then I'm just gonna put that three heart checklist in the middle so then you have a little fold over sidebar and that's it so that's my slight bit of cheating that I've got so what I'm gonna do is get the stopwatch timer ready on my phone. I don't know how much we're going to get done in 10 minutes. If in 10 minutes, let's zoom. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. So hopefully we can see the timer running on the screen. Um, sorry, I've not shown you everything. Um, so my aim is just to get as many stickers down as I can in 10 minutes. And then in my reusable sticker album, if we find the right page, which is none of these here, we have the stickers I'm intending to use. So yeah. Let's see how we do. And you will, I'm gonna leave this in real time. So, you know, that too. Oh, I am nervous. Right, on my marks. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Get set. I'm, I'm gonna shoot a little bit more first. Oh, yeah, so I'm gonna leave this in real time. And oh, do I? Do I, I'm you know, I'm gonna have a voiceover of it as well rather than talk through um, so my other slight bit of cheating is I'm going to prep this box by cutting it up in two strips this is also showing how you can use a PP Weeks size kit in a B6 because you know the kits are small but you can make them look beautiful in this planner right so are we ready? No, I'm never going to be ready. I'm really nervous, <laughs> like ridiculously so. Um, 
and I really don't think I'm gonna get anywhere near nearly anything everything in but it'll be fine I don't feel prepared okay I'm gonna pass over to the voiceover and get started Okay, good. So I obviously have exactly 20, 20, 10 minutes to um, do the voiceover of this video. And I'm going to do a, uh, like, do this without lying quarantine tag. Um, somebody actually tagged me in this over um, Facebook. And yeah, so I'm just doing it there. In fact, it was Beth. <laughs> For those of you know, colourful and go, she tagged me and won the answers to the questions. Um, what's the last thing I drank? Tea? Probably tea. I don't think I've drunk anything else today. I should probably have something else to drink, but yeah. I had a cup of tea when I got up this morning and I haven't drunk anything since. Where was my profile picture taken? My profile picture on Facebook was taken in Disneyland in Epcot. Um, in front, the front bit of Epcot. <laughs> it's me, my parents and Soch. Um, my profile photo on here is my logo. So um, yeah. Worst pain I've ever been in. Um, like physical pain is probably when I um I broke my wrist as like a nine year old and I fractured it in two places and dislocated part of my wrist um and I needed to have pins put through um and I broke it at about ten o'clock at night um so they didn't operate till the following morning obviously and I was in so much pain I did not sleep all night though also really really bad pain as well is when I had a abscess uh, dental abscess and um, that was horrendous too. They're the only two pains I can think of that have completely stopped me sleeping. Favourite place I've travelled? Disney, obviously. Though I did also love touring uh, Australia. That was a lot of fun as well. Um, I've been, I've done and um, really enjoyed Barbados and just like Malta and exploring places on my own. Um, they're the only two places I've been on my own and it was a lot of fun doing that. Um, basically, I just love to travel. So anyway. How late did I stay up last night? We went to bed at like half 11. I didn't sleep until about two because insomnia. I, I'm not generally somebody who gets insomnia, but yesterday was a bad night, um, but that's fine. If I could move, where would it be? Right, this is this depends. If I could move with my entire family, I would move mm, probably to Australia or New Zealand, um, but I would have to take like quite a lot of people with me so it would have to be like my family Sosha's family and a few of our friends because I just I can't imagine living away from them um in the UK I probably wouldn't be very far I'd probably like plonk a house quite close to where we live now um like an, our like our dream house quite near to where we live now and yeah move there that's that's about it um favorite day of the week usually Saturday um probably because which is actually what Beth said in this tag um probably because me and social sometimes both off work I was gonna say usually it's sometimes um and it's not Sunday so you don't have the whole like oh going back to work tomorrow um amusement park or aquarium mm, probably an amusement park I love roller coasters but if it, you said amusement park or zoo, I'd go for a zoo. So I suppose it really depends which one you're you're asking. Um, when was the last time you cried? Yesterday. Let's just move on from that. I'm not having a good mental health period at the moment and I cry most days. I'm doing quite well, I haven't cried today and it's like nearly midday. So I'm taking that as a win. Um, who took your profile picture? Again, I designed my logo, which is my profile picture on YouTube. On Facebook, my profile picture was taken by a random Disney employee. Don't know who what the name was. Who's the last person you took a photo of? Prob Soch? Let's have a look. I probably took, oh, probably, well, no, actually probably the cats. Um, or my planner, if we're including that. Um, actual photo I took that wasn't of a desk. Do, 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 do. Oh my God, I take a lot of photos on my desk. Um, I actually cannot find one. I'm down to like, the beginning of February mid of February mid February I took yeah it's mostly the cats last photo I took of a person so sh when I cut his hair <laughs> that's <laughs> nearly a month ago <laughs> nearly two well, no, just over two weeks ago wow three weeks ago I do not take a lot of photos of people which I probably should try and do a lot more of but mm, mm. anyway um the last animal I took a photo of 
was Nala or Kiara or both, probably both. I take photos of them most days, probably, though I haven't for a little while. I need to take more photos of them because they've grown too fast and it makes me sad. Um, I don't want them to grow up. I like them being tiny, but I don't want them to be malnourished, which would be the only way of keeping them tiny. So we're just going to have to live with them growing to be real sized cats. And um, if I could have any career, what would it be? I would honestly I'd stay in the career I had but I'd do it as less than full-time so I'd stay as a doctor I'd do it less than full-time and also take Tilly journals like part-time um yeah that that's that's the long-term dream is to be part-time at work part-time Tilly journals and part-time mum that's that's the long-term goal but obviously I don't have kids at the moment um <laughs> that's that's my dream um if I could talk to anyone right now who would be um I don't know, my mum. I, I, I mean, I could talk to anybody right now because, like, most of the people that I would want to talk to right now are not at work. Um, so I would just talk to them. But to be honest, I'm a bit antisocial and <laughs> I don't really like phone calls. If I could talk to somebody in person, if I, could, if I could talk to somebody in person, I would talk to my nephew or my sister. And that's who I would talk to if I could talk to somebody in person. Um, but I could call anybody I want right now. Am I a good influence? I think so like I try to be I try to help encourage people to be the best version of themselves so yeah um I think I'm a good influence what are we on we're on six minutes okay good so um does pineapple belong on pizza yes 100% my favorite pi pi no, my favorite pizza is garlic butter pineapple mushroom plus or minus onion, depending how many toppings you can have. I'll get extra pineapple if I have the option. Um, pineapple is chef's kiss, on point. Yes, love it. Um, favorite food and drink? My favorite food changes all the time and I've, I've already answered this once in one of the voiceovers with Sosh and my answer is probably different. But right now my favorite food is crunchy nut cornflakes. Right at this moment in time, it, it, honestly it changes all the time so yeah um, my favorite drink uh fruit juice and lemonade usually apple juice um, but i don't drink it that much alcoholic drink cider fruity cider uh you have the remote what are you watching well me and so just watch the same things if i'm on my own on my own i just watch youtube um planner videos generally on two times speed um if i'm watching tv um on my own i watch either at the moment i'm re-watching friends i'm watching <laughs> please don't judge me for this answer anna montana because disney plus and i was like oh my god i want to relive the bits of my childhood where i could watch hannah montana um <laughs> and i'm also re-watching jane the virgin and then with Soch, we are currently watching atypical though actually by the time this video comes out we may have nearly finished it because we've watched nearly two seasons in I think we started on Friday and it is Monday when I'm filming this voiceover so yeah um name a good thing about being home 24 7 uh seeing a lot more of my other half and um, I'm not home 24 7 because unfortunately in a pandemic in a pandemic doctors jobs do not change at all and in fact loads of people's jobs have got worse rotors my rotors stayed exactly the same but yeah um I'm not home 24 7 but my two things would be seeing more of Soch and um, being able to devote more time to the business but yeah I'm home more than I would normally be because um, I don't do anything in the evenings anymore so I don't have choir I don't have um, I was gonna say church I've not been to church other than like Christmas and Easter in about seven years <laughs> oh, well, and weddings and funerals sorry um, choir guiding stuff I don't go to so I do have a bit more time in the evenings I think I'm at about nine minutes and there is one last question which was who do I think will play I can maybe convince Beth to answer these questions on her channel and Sophie to answer her questions on her channel the questions on her channel so uh, Rhyme of Plans and maybe Cat will as well so peace dot plan dot love Rhyme of Plans and colourful and co on youtube art that i had to think what best youtube was then for a second because i forgot it was the shop name because she did used to have a different youtube channel anyway she yeah um i'm getting confused now i think we are pretty much at 10 minutes so 
I the timer is gonna go off I can't remember whether I left the noise of the timer in so be prepared if I did I don't remember um so I will just pass it back over to Tilly who will you know talk you through the spread there Okie doke, so that is where we got to in 10 minutes. I'm actually quite impressed with myself, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I was about to throw this weekend banner down here, so that I'm, just, I'm just gonna put that in. Um, obviously anything now wasn't in the timer. That's the only thing I'm gonna do though. We All we have left is we have that stripper washi, which I probably would have used if um, I hadn't been rushing. I'd have put it like underneath one of these works, or workouts or something. Um, have one header and the next week header got a couple of the checklists and one flag left it's not like me to not use a flag um shall we put the flag in now or is that cheating that's probably cheating so i'm just gonna write everything in um which obviously was not within the timer but to be fair like i don't actually need anything written in so maybe i just leave it because this is what i achieved in the 10 minutes or do we say that the writing wasn't part of the 10 minutes i don't know you can't let me know because i filmed this ages ago by the time you're seeing this video and um, i'm gonna write everything in just so you can see the completed spread but obviously that doesn't fall into the um the time limit okay so i have another two minutes whilst i am writing things in um i did actually set some timers for this and i know like and i the voiceover the end bit of the video will sound a bit odd because um i said you know what was i going to say Sorry, I just got really distracted by text on my phone. Um, I did it. I talk about the fact that I did it in one minute and something because I decided to set myself a one minute challenge to write everything in and then gave myself a little bit of extra time because I couldn't write everything in one minute. Um, and I just wanted to explain that so that made a bit more sense. Um, I don't really know what to talk about in this little bit of voiceover. I've got like another minute and 15 seconds to chat with you. And I wanted to leave all of this in real time. So even this writing in because I thought I should show you how like quickly I can write if I try um, but my normal writing is not the speed at all. If you ever want to see like uh, me how quickly I actually write in my planner real time just let me know and on another video I will try and include a clip of that. Um, but anyway how are you all doing? Um, there's not very many of these bonus plan with me's left. I think there are three more. I think there is a daily 7x9, a weekly 7x9 and a a6 left and um, they're all filmed at this point i just have to record the voiceovers and stuff um so yeah i'm a bit i can't believe i'm going to be going back to two videos a week i've been doing three or four for such a long time now um but i am looking forward to having a little bit more time in my life to actually dedicate to things um i'm hoping that will be how it goes at least there'll still be three video weeks though because of um the first week of the month is always a three video a week and also new releases anyway i'm about done writing so i'm going to stop talking right about now so that you can see the completely finished spread so it took me like a minute and 10 seconds to write everything in but there we go obviously my writing it's not as neat as it would have otherwise been oh i did put dates in oh well and <laughs> that's fine i actually quite like it without this is absolutely gorgeous and the foil is beautiful gorgeous foiling from joe um so yeah Comment like down below, did you enjoy this video? I actually really, really like the look of the whole hollow, hollow everywhere. Um, like there's one or two, like this listing photos and that is silver foiled, but I've mostly pulled in hollow stuff and I love it. So yeah, comment like down below, did you enjoy this? And thank you for watching. All we have left is these two little bits and I hope to see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye.